Welcome to Learning Mole. Today we're going to look at subtraction for kids. We're really going to think about that subtraction journey right from the early years right up through school until they get to maybe secondary school level and I'm just going to go through all the things that you can do, activities that you can do and to actually explain the process and how a subtraction is actually taught today because I know it can be very different to when you were at school or even when I was at school. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a series of lessons that you can dip in into and out of as you as and when you need and depending on what age your child is. So I'm just going to start lesson one with a very, very early subtraction. And this will be when your child is, you know, probably around nursery, kindergarten, preschool age, and really starting to get that idea of subtraction into their little minds to start introducing that concept. Now, this will all be going on if your dad is at school, this will be going on at school. If you're homeschooling, this is what you'll be wanting to do with your child. And again, it's all about fun. It's about keeping it very simple and it's about repetition, really, to be honest. So I think the main, the very first activity you want to be doing with your child is singing songs, doing rhymes, little um, action songs, all of those focused on the idea of subtraction. So that is your... 10 green bottles, your five little ducks went swimming one day, five fat sausages sizzling in the pan. Your child will have a great fun with them, but at the same time, they're actually starting their subtraction journey. Every time they take away one little duck or one sausage goes pop, that is them actually subtracting. And unbeknown to them, they're actually starting to get that idea of taking away, of subtracting into their minds. So sing them as much as you like, repetition, add actions, the more um, movement you can get in there, the more it's really going to help your child. The second thing I would say, especially in those very early years, is that idea of counting backwards. People are very tempted when they have children to get them to learn to count and of course that's a very very important skill being able to count from 1 to 5, 1 to 10 and then further on to 1 to 20 as they get a bit more advanced but a lot of the time people forget to focus on the counting backwards which is an equally important skill and actually slightly more difficult for children so what I would say is to really really focus on that counting backwards again it's introducing that, that concept of subtraction and it's introducing that idea that subtraction is related to counting backwards it's a really, really important skill that you, your child does need to learn and actually that sometimes I do feel is forgotten about a little bit. I would say do whatever you need to do to help your child do that and there's loads of practical ways. So I would say, um, I mean we're a big fan of little figures and cubes and blocks and everything in our house. Actually give them the physical blocks to help them or the physical little figures. Let them set up and play with their little figures. So here we've got some little monsters here that we absolutely love in our house. And actually allow them to have those phys physical objects to help them. That really, really, really will support your child if they're struggling with the numbers and struggling to remember. I would also even be tempted, if I were you, to maybe even put those little figures on a whiteboard and write the numbers if you want to aid your child in that counting backwards. So set up your little figures and actually put the numbers on there to help them. So you've got your five little figures and you just write the numbers in front of them. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So set up little figure beside each number. And then what I would do is say to your child, okay, we can count one, two, three, four, five. Let's count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And then also move on to then maybe removing one number. Okay, so now there's one number removed. Can we count backwards again? Five, four, three, two, one. Up until you can actually remove all the numbers. Please don't feel that you have to just jump into straight into um, counting backwards straight away. Your child probably won't be able to do it. But actually giving them the visual and giving them those physical activities to be able to do, let them touch them, let them lift them, play with them, that will really, really help. And again, it's starting to get that concept of subtraction into their little minds. Once you've done to five, you can move on to 10 and then move on to 20 if um, you feel that your child is ready for that. And I be as practical as you can, even go outside, get some chalks, make a big grid outside, let them jump, one, two, three, four, five, let them jump backwards. Uh, we would also do a lot about rockets, you know, blast off, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. 
add a little bit of drama into it. I actually think at this stage, the more movement, the more sort of practical, physical things that you can give your child, the easier it's actually going to be for them to visualise the concept in their little minds. And basically that would be lesson one. Singing songs and rhymes and actually the physical counting backwards, they would be the two main focuses to really get your child started with subtraction.